I think the best question is, is what do we name the garden goose? Here, you're figuring 12 berries to the pound. Planting watermelons, you'll notice the plastic has this orange dot. So these three plants are seedless watermelon, and that's a seeded as a pollinator. These three plants are seedless, and that's a seeded as a pollinator. It goes on like that through the field. Blackberry plants are here. These will be for our next round of blackberries, about five rows of them. So this is Adam. He's a French exchange student at the farm for this semester. Say hi, Adam. <laughs> He's sorting some blackberry plants. They arrived in the mail and they came in a little, a little jumbled around, but we're getting them fixed. He's got a couple boxes to go. What's your name? Uh, Cortland. Cortland? I think you got some berries to weigh, Cortland. <laughs> Barry's coming in from the field. So she's gonna weigh them and put a weight sticker on them. And... There's little Farmer Froberg and Mrs. Farmer Froberg. Wave. We're the river cats. <laughs> We're here too. There's Carson. There's Mrs. Farmer Filbert. The mud cat approached by Daryl Dimbo. So this dip is a fungicide and a miticide. Yeah. Just in case. I've never really done that. I've always just done a miticide on the blackberries. But I said, you know what? Do a fungicide. Yeah. Playing a new block of blackberries here. He's got some plants. He's going to go down and we'll see. The guard geese are doing pretty good. They're fitting right in. I'm not sure that they know that they're geese though. Pretty sure they think they're chickens. Question is, is can you spot her? <laughs> and they're really loving their yard. Although the grass is pretty tall in here. And as they get bigger, they keep it cut pretty short. <laughs> These green beans look pretty good. We've, we've had quite a bit of rain the last couple weeks, so you can tell they, they look good. It hadn't been too hot, which is good. Green beans, they like the warm, but they don't like the heat. And then we just recently cleaned up the centers. We still gotta go clean up right up against this plastic. But they look good, and then this sunflower field looks amazing. This is exactly what we want. It'll, it'll take really good pictures. People will come out looks good so as most of you know I don't live on the farm my wife and I actually just built a brand new house and our yard is still really uneven we have a couple acres and so today I brought my little John Deere because we have an old little disc I think it's probably like a four foot disc that this tractor will pull perfectly my plan is just to disc our whole couple acres up um, and then just kind of lightly grade it, even some slopes out. So I'm gonna go hook this disc up real quick. Dusty, what are we doing? Planting a Venus flytrap. Where'd we get it? 
Tractor's pie. And oh, is this the dirt? It's, well, kind of dirt. Yeah, peat moss? Yep. And we're gonna put water on it to expand it. And yes. it never, um, it only grows with seeds. That's right. Not, it. it How's it going, y'all? Good. We're sc scraping the little disc of peat moss. Yup, and, and we gotta plant it outside with a seed, not with smiles. We're not with Supergirl, but we're gonna get the whole house with all of the stuff in it, and even we're turning into stuff. Even um, you, you doesn't do it with smiles either. That's we gotta do it all with stuff. And the the bugs have to grow on it. They eat all of the stuff on the germs, but they never get dead. They must get inside the mouth. Even once no, even when the the bugs crawl on his teeth. Um, the he chomps the mouth open and shut, and then they get all dead. And the tooths are all doomed down. That's you, Roberg. They're little tiny. They're little tiny. They're little tiny. That's a Venus flytrap seed. They're little tiny. They're little tiny. Five fun facts. These are a lot of rocks. Even that's a frog. I want to do grow a lot of plants. But we'll have to fit the um, bloodstones. Even the frog on this side, because yes, this is dusty plants. Decoration time, come on! Decoration time, come on! Decoration time, come on! And here we are in our window. Yep. Now we just gotta wait and see. Yep, sure is. I'm Ducky Sally. So my wife and I were <laughs> walking this morning and she's like, oh my gosh, there's a deer. I'm like, why isn't it running? Well, that's because this thing got an ear tag in it. <laughs> this is someone's pet. Look. <laughs> this thing's letting me touch it. <laughs> Where's your home, buddy? Where's your home? <laughs> What is that, Dusty? A white-tailed deer. <laughs> Where'd that deer come from? <laughs> that thing got an ear tag in it. <laughs> we should put some carrots on It's a spike. Yeah, it, I noticed that. It is a spike. There she is. <laughs> Let's take a peek outside. They are loving the outside right now. Look at them all. It's starting to look like a thousand chickens. I gotta say, really starting to look like a thousand chickens. This is surprising, but hens can communicate with chicks while they're still in their eggs. Where are you taking that? To the chickens. Awesome. They like that one. Green beans look pretty good. Just another couple weeks and we're gonna be picking. All right, I noticed some yellow blooms this morning. So came on out and we got squash. Not too much longer. We're gonna be picking for sure. Some pretty squash in there. Looking good. Uncle Alfred is out here somewhere pruning Christmas trees, shearing Christmas trees, actually. Well, let's go find them.
this is our first pea field, purple hall peas. We went to go start planting, but the ground is just a little too chunky still. Still got some vegetation. So we're gonna run a machine over it real quick, kind of loosen everything up one more time and then start planting again. We got a little rain this morning. And so the ground really is nice, a lot of moisture. Should be good. The sunflower field has been a huge hit this year. Lots of people coming into the sunflowers and you can see it's just like, it's like a forest basically. Sunflowers really are a good crop for any farm like us that invites the public to come out. People love picking them. They love running through them, taking pictures. We even have a private sunflower field that we use for professional photography. Looks pretty good. Look back this way and you can actually see the flowers because they're all facing towards the morning sun. We're doing a Florida weave on our green beans. You see he's got a box of string. String comes out into the pipe and it's just a lot easier to guide the string with the pipe. We'll go on either side of the plants, take one wrap around the post, pull it tight. And this just ensures that our plants are staying nice and upright. All right. We're running over that. Planter's going behind him. He's already planted these rows. Looks good. Can feel lots of moisture down in that ground. It feels good. And there's our pea. Little purple haul. Once we're done planting the peas, we'll roll them. This makes sure we got good seed to soil contact, lock in a lot of that moisture, everything you need for good germination.